I'm not apologizing today. Welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, I'm not apologizing today. Don't ask me. This is my temporary setup-ish while I get my actual setup, which is over there, ready for sec business. Um, so <coughs> enjoy the box tripod while it lasts. I put on an inordinate amount of makeup today and really, really whitewashed myself out because I thought today we would talk about Shane Dawson. <laughs> Those two thoughts don't really correlate, but it's, they both did come out of my head just now. So, quick reminder before we get into it, all of the relevant links, social media, Patreon, all the things that I haven't updated in a while, just down in the thing, where the things go. Petco. Today we're gonna go back to Ryland's vlogs a little bit. Um, because it seems that these two clowns have just moved back to LA seemingly for financial reasons that make no sense to me um, but we're gonna sit down and watch one of these vlogs the one in the middle not the most recent not the not the least recent but the one right in the middle um, I don't even remember what it was called I'll put it here we're gonna watch this one and we're gonna talk about it. Now, I wanna say right out of the gate that like, I'm a vlog loving bitch, okay? You will catch me in the Christmas season in a scalding hot bubble bath with a glass of wine watching Zoella Vlogmas. Like, that's my whole jam. Like, I love a good vlog. I love uh, vlogs. Like, that is like above snarky commentary on pop culture and creators and movies and things. I vlogs those two things those are my that's my area but these are like not vlogs okay I'm just gonna be controversial yet brave and say that these are not vlogs these are like these are like cold disjointed boring pointless reasons to say yes when you're asked if you want a receipt so that you can write off what you just did on your taxes now I know I haven't touched on Shane's most recent conspiracy video yet with Jeffrey Star, uh, but jokes on you because I filmed the video with my mom over Thanksgiving and that's... It's coming soon. Check it out. Why do you think Charles Entertainment Cheese was trying to sue <laughs> Shane Dawson? <laughs> I don't know, was he bumping one of the characters? <laughs> no, but that is a valid guess. Yeah. We filmed that shit for like three hours, and then my camera died. So you'll get it eventually. Anyway, um, we should probably get into this vlog so this doesn't take three hours, and you can actually get it before 2024. Hello girls, good morning. Today is a very exciting day. One I've been waiting for for a long time because as we prepare to head to California to get ready for our children that are coming so soon, we are doing a deep, deep, winter like a spring cleaning but in the fall i'm talking going through everything in our closet donating anything that i don't wear or that doesn't fit or that i haven't worn in at least six months and i'm ready to party he pulled out one thing that's very brave <clears throat> also rylan sucks at cold open so i left the beginning montage out to save us all the time hello shane i said i didn't want to be on camera today oh my god these like surprise vlogs were like we're vlogging in the kitchen that you were already in so you fully knew that Ryland was turning on a camera are brought to you by Pepto-Bismol. Trust us, you'll need it. There's really nothing like the, the croaky morning baby voice of Shane Dawson pretending that he didn't know there was a camera in the house anywhere at all. <coughs> I didn't know we were vlogging this. I was going to put on my gross clothes. Well, I'm already wearing my gross clothes. See how quickly he can turn that voice on and off? Just yucky. And I was going to get my big water and start cleaning. I didn't know I was going to have to be talent. Okay, um, first of all, um, I, Monster, from fucking Pan's Labyrinth, 
Um, if there's one thing you're not, it's talent. So don't worry, no worries there. Um, also, like, nobody buys this crap anymore, do they? Really? Like, this act? Besides, like, the 12-year-olds that still somehow enjoy his content? Um, I don't know. Like, any, any, I, I, I can't imagine, like, buying into this whole, like, well, I'm, I wasn't expecting to be vlogged this morning, because even though you pull out the camera every time we have to do something that requires a big purchase, and so that, you know, when the CPA calls, we can make sure that we get him the receipt so we can write off our, on our taxes, you know? But I wasn't expecting it. Well, that's, no, you don't have to be talent, but I just wanted to document a little as we get ready, kind of like our last couple of weeks in this house for now. Um, if you're worried about our alpacas, don't you dare worry. I was, I was losing sleep over it, so thank you for reassuring me. Because, what, what? I thought you were gonna give the big news. What's the big news? Well, that we're thinking we're in the process of pro possibly recreating Casa Bonita, <laughs> the iconic pink restaurant that we just went to. Okay, first of all, um, I'm pissed that Shane got to go to Casa Bonita before I did. I've been on the list forever. Second of all, I think we can all agree that Shane Dawson is Cartman at Casa Bonita. Second, second of all, Ryland was talking. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and be like Ryland's number one stan, but like, Ryland was just talking about something else entirely. He was opening his vlog. Remember the vlog that Shane wasn't expecting to be a vlog. It wasn't expecting you to be standing in the kitchen with the camera. But wait, let me tell you, I thought you were going to talk about this. Shut the fuck up. If you want to vlog, get your own camera and vlog. Don't be, pr pretend to be surprised by Rylan's camera and then be like, oh wait, but by the way, let me talk to you. I swear, this vlog channel exists for Shane. Go back to pretending you didn't know that this vlog was happening, okay? We'll call you when your slop is ready and your bi-monthly shower is due. We're thinking of recreating a small version of that in the LA backyard, and that's where they'll live. Yes, yeah, so I don't wanna stress the alpacas out and like move them as we move. I've like read a bunch of places that you're not supposed to do that. If we decide LA is like where we're going to be long-term for a while, I do wanna start building like a Spanish structure that is pink for all my alpaca mamas. Okay, question. What? Couldn't even make it, what, <clears throat> 30 seconds, 25 seconds, couldn't even make it 25 seconds before he started chiming in. Well, what's the, what's, um, mm, mm, what? what's, what's, mm, what's the, what? what's, dad, <laughs> what's, what's the prize for today? So motivate me. If we clean this amount of rooms, then you're gonna have a bunch of clean rooms. You're in your fucking 30s, man. I mean, I, I'm all for like a personal reward system where I'm like, oh, hey, if I do X, Y, and Z, then um, I can have this snack that I love and fall asleep masturbating to the first wives club, whatever it takes. You know what I mean? I get having a, pri like a, a reward system for yourself, but to need to be rewarded for doing basic house tasks that you live uh, for the house that you also live in like not to go on too much of a tirade but theoretically these two are about to have twins correct and at some point they're gonna have to teach their kids responsibility which means that the kids are gonna have to learn that because you're a family and you all live in a house you're all responsible for taking care of said house so um someone's gonna have to teach Shane that first you know I'm not even joking a little bit when I say that having these babies is going to be a wake-up call for Ryland. That his bitch boy husband is nothing but weaponized incompetence personified. And I'm sorry, but that does not fly when you have kids, particularly infants, particularly multiple infants. Okay. Uh, take me to a scary movie, take me out to dinner, oh buy me a special treat. Like, is there a prize? It gives me motivation. That we both feel satisfied and lucky and happy and healthy. I'm bored. Girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I promise you, that's going to be a not funny joke in about two or three months. <laughs>
<laughs> I want something. I want a toy. Or I'll want... maybe go to a scary movie with you, which you've been begging me to do all Halloween season, and I've been putting you off, girl, saying I will not be there. I will not do that. But I did want to say, uh, the person who helps us with our alpacas now will actually be staying at this house while we're in California for the first however many months of the baby's lives. So they will not be abandoned. They'll have someone here every single day. They'll be taken care of and loved for. Just wanted to let you know. Okay. Well, it seems like the alpacas were a very practical purchase then. The amount of outrageous unnecessary expense these two have incurred is not outrageous in my opinion. We're gonna get cleaning this house and let's go team go. Oh my gosh, I do. Well, this is pretty, um, I don't know. Shane doesn't care, but all of the trees on the property are changing for fall. So I'll show you all of the beautiful changing leaves. I'm bored. Me too. <laughs> of this joke. <laughs> it's the next morning and even I got too involved with cleaning that I didn't show you the process so far, but I have two full laundry bins of donations for the Goodwill. I just finished my laundry room and I ended up with four full bags and two giant boxes, so. I'm better than you. My biggest accomplishment, I haven't seen the countertops in this laundry room for at least a year. The floors are empty. The closet is organized, I mean for the most part. Oh my gosh, it's such a relief to be able to like walk in and use the laundry room properly. I'm sorry, did I miss some like big thing that you guys were doing that you couldn't keep your house clean? Don't get me wrong, I'm not a judgy person if your house is messy, no matter how much money you have. You do what you gotta do. I don't think a clean house is equivalent to a better house, okay? Um, you know, I got two kids, you know, and my house is often met. This room is a fucking disaster. Granted, I just moved in, but um, my motto is, sorry, my house is a mess, but unfortunately we live here. But to have a room that you can't even utilize properly when two of you don't even have full-time day jobs and you're and you have like minimal outside obligations and you're about to bring two children into the world. I mean, at least they're taking care of it now, I suppose. I guess that's the, I guess that's the silver lining, but um, woof. It has just become our storage facility. Next I have to tackle the kitchen, every cabinet inside of the kitchen. Do you notice every cabinet inside of the kitchen has nothing kitchen worthy inside of it? You're about to have kids, bro. You're gonna, I mean, I guess maybe not immediately, but like eventually you're gonna have to learn how to make like basic ass meals. You're gonna need like real pots and pans and like utensils and shit. And, ooh, the basement girl. Just never ending amounts of things that we've accumulated that are about to go. <laughs> Riddle me this, um, where the fuck is Shane? Where's Shane now? Hmm? Um, it's so funny how, like, Mr. Ooh, I didn't know you were filming is, like, fucking front and center when you're talking about going to taste test some coffee at Dutch Bros, but, like, the minute your house needs cleaning or fixing or decor or landscape or any other sort of normal homeowner maintenance or care whatsoever, that motherfucker's nowhere to be found. He's just like a, a puddle of bacon grease and a 12 day since washed MTV shirt hiding from his husband like a 10 year old avoiding chores. Marital bliss. Hello girls, happy fall. Tonight we are celebrating the premiere of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. We're gonna make cocktails and we went to the store and I'm making my pumpkin chip, my pumpkin chocolate chip cookies that I have made almost every year of my life, and I vlog them once upon a time. Jane does not like them, they're like, yeah! Okay, this is one of the only times, and I remember, I, this is one of the only times I will agree with Shane Dawson. Pumpkin and chocolate for me, they don't go together, I'm sorry. I, I, gross. Plus, these cookies look like fucking breast implants. <laughs> they're like too much of like a bready, moist consistency, but they're, it's so delicious. So we'll make them again together today. I'll put the recipe in the description section below. What are you making to drink for the party? I don't drink anymore. So I just got margarita mix and I'm gonna drink it alone. Okay, well, first of all, diabetes. Second of all, it was like two vlogs ago 
you were sucking back fucking martinis at some restaurant in Vail, were you not? No shade. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being sober. That's totally cool. Um, I just am confused at the complete inconsistency. Maybe it's a new thing. Maybe it's as of 50 seconds ago, Shane Dawson is no longer drinking. No judgment, just pure confusion. My mom introduced me to these oh, bad boys. Really loud. So good. It's Listen, um, Vicky may have introduced you to those, um, but those are my entire, I had two bags of them yesterday. They're so good. Dip them in plain fucking Faye yogurt. Greek yogurt, <sighs> plain, not like vanilla. <laughs> That'd be disgusting. But seriously, it's so good. Eat it and never be the same. Also, if Shane could stop pretending he has misophonia, that'd be incredible. Like a soft crunch, actually. Um, they're definitely they they're soft. They're like they're soft. They're made of popcorn. They're literally soft. They're not even crunchy. They're not well. They're they're crunchy, but they're not like crispy. I'm not really selling these, am I? Okay, so here are my ingredients. You know, nothing says I make these every year like having to repurchase every single ingredient. Although now that I think about it, they have been going for back and forth between LA and Colorado, but still. Keep some basics in your home. You can even write them off on your taxes if you're feeling frisky. Hi, hi. Princess. Who are you? Right, right there. Right there. Tell them hi. Tell them hi. I'm a dog lover by nature. I love all dogs. Something about that whole segment just made me feel gross. Yeah, I think that's fine. I thought I would try to make myself a little skinny girl lemon cello drink. Zero sugar lemonade. One shot of vodka. And I was also gonna squeeze a real life lemon in it. Enjoy those seeds, buddy. Just for funsies. Oh, it's spraying everywhere. Oh, is it because it's carbonated? Yeah, dumbass. That's why you shake up everything else and then add the carbonated beverage afterwards. You people can't do anything. We're gonna start with two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. This is so not accurate. One half cup whole wheat flour. One and one half teaspoon of baking soda. One half teaspoon salt. And then pumpkin pie spice. All that set aside. I need to melt my one cup of butter. I promise you're not gonna be missing much when I skip through a bunch of this. I really wish I could perfect like the one-handed, oh my gosh, not one single shell. One and one half teaspoon vanilla. One cup canned pumpkin. And I have seen a lot of people be like, how are you gonna feed your kids? And let me tell you, when you're introducing solid foods, it's very basic, like sweet potatoes, chicken, like, you know, basic things that obviously I'm capable of doing myself. So when you first feed a baby, a small infant child, you feed it sweet potatoes and chicken. Like a dog with an infection. I'm not saying that's entirely wrong because baby led weaning exists and a lot of people do it and that's totally legit and, and great if it works for you. Most of the time, and I feel like with these clueless fellas, um, a lot of the time babies are started on purees. So it's technically food, but it's not quite solid. Also, chicken? You can't cook anything and you're gonna cook a baby chicken? Do you know how easy it is to give someone salmonella? You should, because I didn't see you wash your hands once after you cracked that fucking egg. Granted, I know there's a lot to the power of editing, but um, I don't know, promoting good hand hygiene while you're fucking making some disgusting looking breast implant cookies? <sighs> but I can make quick and easy meals. I just don't love the mess, which I know there's gonna be a lot of bottles. I know there's gonna be a lot of things to clean and I'm just gonna accept that that's my life with two newborns. <laughs> oh honey, 
I'm pretty sure you have absolutely no idea how much physical, mental, and emotional mess you are about to endure. I really don't feel like, I, I mean, listen, I could be completely wrong and these two could be just not letting on the things that they know or the things that they've learned or experienced already or whatever, but I feel like these two have absolutely no fucking idea what they're about to do. I have, I, I feel like they have no idea what their lives are about to be like. And I don't think, I think Rylan can hack it. I really don't think Shane can. And I'm not saying that to be a bitch. I'm saying that because I've fucking lived it. And from everything that Shane shows us of himself, which is way too much, but, um... I don't know, man. I don't think he can hack it. Definitely not cookie dough consistency, which I don't remember if it's supposed to be this battery. Like, they definitely wouldn't go into like cookie clumps. It's supposed to be 12 ounces. Well, I'm just gonna do like half and half. Oh, some of the chunks. Woo! I know why your batter's wrong. I'm a little afraid it's too liquidy. I know why your batter's wrong. All right, they were pretty like similar to this. I guess I can just use this. All right. Oh, you're gonna taste it? Oh no, I'm nervous because you normally don't love these. Mm. Oh my gosh, the flavor profile is exactly what I remember. You know, using words like flavor profile doesn't make you a chef or a baker. It makes you an avid Food Network watcher, and that's absolutely it. Put it in the sink, you vile swine. Bake for 10 to 12 minutes or until edges are light brown. Okay, I just finished cleaning up and I'm looking in there and I'm starting to think, oh my gosh, they're a lot more like flat and circular than they've ever been. So I don't know if I just like missed the right amount of flour. Nope. Or if I just put like too big of serving size. So I guess the next batch I'll just try to make smaller and see if they're more like the plump cookies that I know and love. Rylan, remember earlier in the video when you're putting in ingredients? To melt my one cup of butter. It said one cup butter softened and you melted it. That's, uh, that's exactly where you went wrong. If you melt butter, it changes the consistency. But if you leave butter out to soften, that'll give you the consistency you're looking for. Melted and softened are not the same. It's called science, Ryland. Look it up. I don't know, maybe I had a heavy hand. Maybe you melted the butter. I think I screwed these up. Did I get like two? I didn't even drink that much. How did I, how did they look so bad? It's the butter. I think they look good. I mean, maybe they'll taste good, but this is not, like the typical vibe. I wonder if it's like in Colorado, it has a higher elevation. Yeah, high altitude baking can be tricky, um, but not in Parker. Also, um, it's just the butter. What? It's, it's like different standards to bake with a higher elevation. You never heard that before? I don't think that- Why are you fucking that disgusting looking cookie with a spoon? Can't you just eat things like a normal person? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Why, why is everything Shane does vile? What? Is it bad? Not as bad as the giant fucking ball of hair hanging off of Shane's disgusting bacteria beard. It's not good, huh? No, it's good. They're very light. Like, I wonder what I did. I literally- It's just the fucking butter. It's just the butter, man. Yep. Uh, the butter man. You know it'd be good if you put ice cream mix between two of them. I literally wonder what I did wrong. I thought I followed the recipe as it was. I don't know, those air bubbles make me feel like something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, the butter. That's what they always look like. These are just flatter. On account of the melted butter. It's time for me.
for me to taste test my masterpiece. I kind of want to try this one because I see that thing. Like, oh, it still has the same consistency. It's just flat instead. <gasps> oh my gosh, the bottom is gorgeous. Ina Garden is having a brain aneurysm right now. Okay, maybe they, these are going to snap. Oh, the flavor is exactly the same. I wonder if it's the difference in chocolate chip. It's actually just the butter. Like dark chocolate. What? Why? Because I'm a little tipsy. It's all over your teeth. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh. I think it's the way that I just made big cookies because the taste and the, like the taste profile is exactly the same. Yeah. It's also just that you melted butter. Hold on. Before you hit not roll. I do see a lot of people still be like, I make them every year since you made them in the vlog. So if you're still making these and enjoying these, let me know if yours came out flat like mine and if you love them as much as I do. Well, if they also melted their butter, I'm sure they did. Okay. Toodles. Mm -mm -mm. I like how Shane's like, ew, these are gross. And yet he's still slobbering all over the batter in the background. What? But it's exciting. But sad. I have no idea what's going on. Shane was like, this is for you. No, it's for me. Wait, it's for Vlogmas. I don't know. Well, I got this a long time ago because if you guys don't know, just like the makeup industry, in the bling industry, things take months. So, so I was crafting this idea almost a year ago and it just arrived today. Now, this is for Vlogmas, which we're not technically doing, but maybe we'll do it sooner. No, we're doing Christmas videos. We just don't know how many or how frequent. Either way, I got us something for the videos. I was thinking this could be fun in the intro, but also it could be fun for me to use, but for you to see. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is a first. Ooh, I'm excited. Are you gonna, it looks the same as a lot of the other ones that you have. Oh, you just made the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man really angry. He's dressed for full blown winter and it's raining outside. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. That looks more like Halloween. It looks like blood. That's snow. What? Snow dripping down the red, like Santa Claus. Like Santa's clothes? What? I guess the bling is supposed to be more white. Listen, here's the thing about this. Um, Shane and Ryland are never, even if I liked them, they would never convince me that this is in any way a worthwhile investment. Um, no shade to the artist because it must take forever. And for what it's worth, they, they are from an artistic perspective, very beautiful to look at. However, the bling cups and shit like that is so stupid to me. Um, not that, like, there's anything... <laughs> Everybody needs a small little something to get through the day, right? If your thing is bling cups, that's cool. I'm not judging you for that. I'm literally just judging these two. Actually, I'm even just literally judging Shane. I'm not even judging Ryland. Because I think these are such dumb purchases. Because they spend like a fuck ton of money on these. For what? Like literally opening it on camera so that they can write it off on their taxes is literally for some reason so infuriating to me. Because I think for the most part all YouTubers, all creators, everybody does that every once in a while. Maybe not to this like egregious like gratuitous degree. But like, you know. There's been stuff I've used in videos that I've been able to write off on my taxes. That's part of the job. But like, at this point, they're like literally just buying stuff that they want to write off on their taxes. Like, it, it, in my opinion, obviously, I'm not like their accountant. I don't know that that's actually what's happening. But I do know that because they're opening this in a video and they have the intent to use it during Vlogmas or whatever, that it is a viable right off. I don't know. I guess I, mm, I again, no shade to the artist because the work itself is beautiful and I'm sure it takes a level of patience I could never even aspire to have. Um, but the collecting of these things is just bizarre to me as a mid thirties adult. I mean, it's beautiful. Well, okay. Just... Hold on. Hold on. Okay. okay. So it's like, you know, Santa baby. It's very that. Okay. And then when you turn it around, Back on Ryland's Vlogmas! Ah! Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, this is a present for me. What are you talking about? You were like, maybe it's not a present for you. This is definitely 
Well, you don't use blank cups and you don't like big cups, so I like big cups. But I was thinking, I'm using it, right? And then you see it. So it's like you're getting the present. Wow. By its present. I love that. And we can have it out for display. That Why? That is so cute. Is it? You know what's cuter? Mostly anything else. Yeah, and then I got another one. Well, this is just more literally for me. Wow, this is gorgeous. This one has nothing to do with Vlogmas and probably not even worth filming, but I'm in my Y2K era. You're in your Y2K era? Shane, you were a fully functioning sentient being in the Y2K era, like the actual Y2K era. There's nostalgia, and then there's pretending you weren't there. <laughs> it's very Lizzie McGuire. No, it isn't. Whoa, <laughs> give her a spin. Oh, the butterflies. <laughs> I mean, it's stupid. Very ridiculous. Mm hmm But I don't know, it just made me think of like, Y2K, Lizzie McGuire, what I wish I could have worn to school when I was a kid. So yeah, it's giving me that. Don't, don't ask me how much these were. Okay, gotta go, bye. I won't. I'm sure your accountant knows, though. My gosh, I guess that's a better addiction than most things. All right, uh, it is later on the first snow day of the year, and we're going on a date night, just the two of us. Okay, changing my mind. I don't want to move back to LA. I want to stay here. Oh my gosh, you can't. I love this you can't snow. keep doing this to me. Oh my god, you fickies out there know exactly what I'm talking about because it's jacket weather, baby. <laughs> jackets we have big jackets we have gloves we have boots we're stomping around nobody's looking at our waistline girl this is where i thrive how did i forget this we're not moving uh, our babies are gonna be snow babies oh my god building little snow castles there's a lot happening if you want to stay here we can make that happen it's i mean i am not taking the flack for this especially from all of you watching because i know everyone's rooting for us to be here which i'm not saying we won't like how cute will it be a year from now the first snow with the boys when they're like almost one year old it'll be cuter than shane's y2k era featured in a bling cup that's for sure and they're like maybe starting to walk sorry i zoned out because you said that they're all rooting for us and i was like that's a lot to say. Well, I'm rooting for you to get your shit together and be less of a whiny weirdo. <laughs> You're all rooting for us. Hopefully some of you guys are. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. Uh, no. So I was thinking we're having a date night. It's snow night. Sorry, my misophonia is triggered. Okay. <laughs> right, right. I love you so much. And I also just want to point out that the winter gloves Shane is wearing are literal oh. golf gloves. Like they're a glove you put on to golf in. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. These were Flip under. Around. Flip them around. Baby. These are. First of all, I got. I, I treated myself a year ago when I after I posted it. No, two years ago after I posted my little video. Let me get a shot of them. I got some Gucci gloves. Don't judge me. But these were under the winter accessories aisle. They're Gucci uh, Adidas collab. These it's were. Crazy. These were under. You're just jealous of my Gucci. Shane, we know you're a whore for designer shit. It's really, it's time to stop. Pretending that you don't care about designer shit and brand names. One thing I don't love is our truck is too large to fit in the garage. <laughs> Stop. Okay, I was just trying to show the truck. Oh. Our Shane, you and I both know it's not nice to throw snowballs at people who are just about to complain that their fancy third vehicle is too big to fit inside their million dollar garage so they have to clean off the snow from their windshield with their hands like a peasant. You guys, this is our... It's time! Wow, he just woke up and I was like, guess what? We're going to taste test holiday drinks at Dutch Brothers because we're going back to California this week and they don't have a Dutch Brothers that's anywhere that we can access for the holiday drinks. I have an idea. What? We want to start like a family business. We've been talking about that for years. What if we just franchised a Dutch Bros by our house? I mean, I don't know. Because I would want to go there every day. And then Jet Max could work there he when does 16. go there every day. If we franchise one, I'm telling you, it's going to be on DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates. Yeah. All of the things because it is a lot to have to drive. It's so hard for us to have to drive here every day. Wow. Was that almost a moment of self-awareness? Where you realized you were just about to complain about something really trivial and really privileged? That you have to drive to a Dutch Brothers 
sorry, Dutch Bros to get expensive coffee. Not, I'm not no shade of Dutch Bros. I love me some Dutch Bros. But, um, wow, good catch. Um, but we are trying their holiday drinks. This is the Snowcap Freeze. It's cupcake, soft top, and holiday sprinkles. And, oh, the presentation is gorgeous. I don't know if we should, like, take a straw and go from the bottom to the top. Or should we take the top off and hit the foam first? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go down from below. You're gonna ruin and it? slurp up it's top. It's so pretty. Yeah, well, it's a drink, Shane, not a sippy cup full of sparkles from Etsy. Okay. There's a hair on your straw. Don't get the hair in it. Oh my gosh. Don't get the hair in it. What? Oh my gosh. That's my new thing, is I'm like afraid to put my mixings in my coffee in the kitchen because there's always dog hair floating around and there's nothing worse than slurping up a Dutchies and there's a big old dog hair down your throat. I'm gonna stop you right there, Shane, because the actual worst thing is having to hear you say the phrase slurping up some Dutchies. You have to pick it out with your fingers. This is incredible. I'm just gonna say we went and we tried the Dunkin' Donuts. That's for a podcast, but those Dunkin were what? awful. Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, Shane, stop it. If you want to see us fight about the way he says donuts, check out the podcast. Yeah, head over to the Sips channel. The way that I grew up saying it is donuts. You know what I really like about Shane and Ryland's relationship? Is that Shane can never just simply disagree with, with Ryland. He can't ever just be like, nah, I disagree with that. He's always got to like reenact regurgitating buttermilk or something, you know? I look great. Don't blame hair story. This is just my problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bozo. We already knew that. I woke up like this. Okay, here, you slurp out of the straw first. So good. I mean, so sugary, Whoa. but so good. Whoa. Listen, you... Okay, <laughs> try my coffee. Oh no! Try it oh. because he always thinks I make it too sweet and too chemically and weird. Well, no, it's try because it. this and is all me, fake sugar. This is Hopefully. so much sweeter. Mine is more subtle. What? what? The, you're putting this into your body every day? This has gotten worse since I did this last year. My eyes are watering. <laughs> Oh, Rylan, you get one today. It hurts. Oh my god! It's time! It's like taking a shot of vodka! Okay. <laughs> Let me sip the cold foam on the top, because I really want to get a sprinkle as well. Oh my gosh. I think it's perfect. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. As much as I think Shane plays up the misophonia thing, um, because it's so inconsistent and selective and uh whatnot the way rylan consumes things is fucking gross mm. it's wine oh my gosh did you try the soft top on top if we're going flavor profile this is 10 out of 10 incredible so good okay scott conant calm the fuck down in three days we're headed back to california this is unfortunately the last colorado vlog you'll see the next time you see us we'll be traveling back with all the animals my mom and my sister and i'm so excited to really finally set up the nursery uh, i'm just so excited and then it's like a little over a month until we meet our boys and see what their personalities are like and see them well to be fair, for a long time, their personalities are just going to be uh, screaming, crying, spitting up, eating. Just existing in the world. What? <laughs> you just woke up. I love you. Well, I love you too. I love your energy. Right I now. also got just my unsweetened cold brew because this is what I'm going to need to get me through the day. And I love you and you so much. We'll see you in California. Bye. Wow. I'm so glad we sat through that together. My foot is asleep. So is my brain. They have since moved back to LA. Um, apparently it's more fiscally responsible for them to be in LA, which makes no sense because they just redid their entire house in LA. Ryland's family moved with them to LA, you know, their main support system. I did watch the next vlog, which was when they got to LA, and they both seemed to, like, be miserable there, so... Good luck with all that. I assume we're gonna get a We've Got Babies vlog sooner or later, and then the real fun begins. 
So this was an adventure. I'm going to go shower because that's the only appropriate thing to do after you watch a video like this. Uh, I'll see you for my next one, which is either going to be that video that I shot with my mom where she lambasted the fuck out of Shane Dawson or my Janelle Evans video. Either way, get ready. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so that YouTube can never remind you that I've posted anything. Uh, but the best way to know is to keep tabs on my social medias, the community tab, etc. My Patreon is about to become less of a ghost town. I feel like I've been saying that for six months. So if you want to come join the Patreon, it's getting fully revamped for 2024. And I hope you'll join me because I have some fun ideas. Also, uh, God willing, this video gets out on November 30th because I'm dropping some new merch on Friday, December 1st. And uh, it's linked below either way. Um, so go get you some if you want it. It makes good gifts for people that you hate. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful life. Don't melt your fucking butter. Stay tuned for the outtakes. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I probably should have matched my foundation to my neck. Who cares? Like, mmm, mmm. Wow, Shane. It's really not nice to throw snowballs at people who are just about to explain. I feel like part of my hair is coming out of my bun. My head is falling off. Gross. Just gross. Oh, it finally happened! Yes. Shane, you and I both know it's not nice to throw snowballs at people who are just about to complain that they're big... Now I can be the hillbilly boy from the 1980s that I've always wanted to be.